Hello, hello and welcome to Guitar Tips. My name is Adam Levy. This is my weekly video blog series thing that I do. I post a new tip here each and every Friday and uh, I thank you for, for tuning in. If you want to be a subscriber, it's easy to do. There's a red button down below. Hit it, quit it, and you are a subscriber. Um, I've been getting a lot of really positive feedback in the last few weeks on various tips, on recent tips and even on some uh, vintage tips. And I just want to say I appreciate the, uh, the feedback. And I also um, appreciate questions when people are curious about things that I've talked about and uh, want to know more. Um, I'm glad to help if I can. Sometimes, sometimes I don't know more, but if I do know some more than what I can squeeze into a tip, um, <clears throat> I'm glad to share that with you. I appreciate your curiosity. Um, uh, as always, or at least in the recent always, uh, I should say, um, Guitar Tips is sponsored by Martin Guitar Strings. Those are these very strings. Um, they are retro strings uh, in a light, light gauge that's a 12 on top. They make other gauges and um, Martin makes other kinds of string formulations. I just happen to like the retros. They, they sound good, they feel good, they last, they play in tune. Um, that's not a lot of superlatives, I'm not jumping up and down uh, with you know, speaking in all caps with a lot of exclamation points, because um, to me that you know that kind of stuff just feels hypey. Um, but I really do use these strings, and I really do dig them, and I hope that you will check them out. Um, on with the tips. Um, guitar tip: Music is not math, unless you want it to be. Uh, again, that's a long, long tip, but music is not math unless you want it to be. And uh, this tip really is in, uh, inspired by a conversation that I had with one of my students this week. Um, he was a little disheartened because it was starting to seem to him that uh, music is just math. It's just formulas and... Um, and if, if that's true, if that's true, um, first of all, is it still enjoyable and fun to, to play music if it's just math? And second of all, it has all the music already been figured out? If it's just math, maybe then there, there are limited possibilities and uh, music doesn't have a, uh, a really vital future. So. I guess those are pretty big ifs, if, if music is math. So I guess let's talk about that first. Um, I don't think of music as math, like when I go home and put on a record that I want to listen to. Uh, for example, last night I listened to uh, an LP called uh, Macklemore Avenue, which has nothing to do with the rapper Macklemore, but it uh, has to do with a street in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, the record was made by a band called Booker T and the MGs, um, a band from Memphis that recorded at Stax and other places. Um, anyway, it was their tribute to the Beatles record Abbey Road. So Abbey Road is a road in London, Macklemore Avenue is a street in, um, in Memphis, Tennessee, where the Stax uh, studio is located. Anyway, um, you know, it probably took some math to make that record. They had to figure out, first of all, in those days, you could only fit so much music on either side of an LP. It's not like today where you could make a recording that's infinite in length, more or less. Um, so they had to kind of time the songs. Um, 
they had to they were doing medleys so they had to put some pieces together um, there was math involved probably in just the, doing the budget for the session you know paying people and whatever um, there's things are in four four or three four or whatever so you could you could say that if you look hard enough there's some math involved but when you listen to the record um, it doesn't sound mathy uh, I listened to a Frank Sinatra record last night uh, that's life his recording of that's life um, anyway I'm not gonna bore you with uh, my <laughs> recreational listening habits but the point is any music you listen to, if you look for the math, there's probably some math in it. And some music is driven by math. But um, it just depends on the goggles that you're wearing. You know, if you look for math, you'll find math. But most of the music that I enjoy, and I would uh, venture a guess that most of the music that most people enjoy around the world is not mathy. Um, there's something else going on there, like feelings and energy and stuff like that. That's what turns people on about music. So if you're drawn to music that has feelings and energy, then music is about feelings and energy. Of course, if you're a student uh, and you're practicing a lot and, and you're studying, um, things get presented to you that feel mathy, like scales are formulas. They're, uh, you know, sequences of uh, half steps and whole steps. Uh, chords can be looked at in terms of intervals. Oh, you know, this is a perfect fifth and a sixth, and etc. Um, there's all kinds of math uh, going on in the study of music, but um, I, I just I would say you don't want to confuse the two: the study of music with music. Um, yeah. Um, so if music is math, then uh, is it fun to play? So I'm going to say in that regard, music can be as, as mathy as you want. I, I'm going to be honest, I do like to practice in a mathy way, thinking about intervals and uh, additive things and subtractive things. And um, it helps me stay organized. You know, I can write down something I worked on and what the formula is and then come back to it later and either revisit that formula or try a new formula. Oh, hey, I did that. Let's do something else this week. Um, so I like a certain amount of mathiness in my practice routine, but when I'm playing music with other people, um, I do my best to turn that off and turn on um, whatever, you know, the playing in the sandbox and eating sand uh, thing is. That, that's really where I want to be playing music from in the most creative way that I can, most as much of the time as possible. Um, then the other thing, you know, was if music is math, is, is it all worked out? Is there, are there still more possibilities? And I would say, yeah. Um, there's infinite possibilities. I, I, I may have talked about this in another tip earlier, but um, I took a poetry class at the New School several years ago, and uh, I was thinking I was going to learn about, I wanted to improve my lyric writing, so I was thinking this class would be about um, creative ideas for saying, you know, learning some new words, learning new ways to say things, thinking about new topics to write about, and the entire class was really just based on meter. How, looking at poems that the teacher liked and how many syllables were in each line and where the emphasis was. And our job each week was to write poems based on the same meter. So that's very mathy. There was no talk of feelings or images or whatever else you could talk about that I thought we were going to talk about in a poetry class. And at first I was frustrated. I thought, you know, poetry can't just be math. Um, but I surprised myself by writing some pretty cool poems. I thought they were cool. And that led to writing a bunch of lyrics. And over the last couple of years, lots and lots and lots of my lyrics have started out as metric exercises where I gave myself a limitation and then tried to see how, how much I could do within that limitation of um, really specific uh, syllable counts or beat counts. So I would say um, even if you even if you think music is math, there's not, the only limit is your imagination. You know, if you want to be a great musician, you're, 
what you have is the time you put into the instrument and um, the, your imagination. That's really what you have. So, guitar tip. Music is not math unless you want it to be. Um, make the music you want to make. Include some math if you like math. If you don't like math, um, do the math when you have to, i.e. in the practice room, and then try and put it away when it's playtime, which means you're also going to need to practice. In your practice, uh, practice non-mathy, pure playtime stuff, because uh, whatever you practice in the practice room has a direct correlation to what you do on the bandstand. You don't want to walk out on a gig and, and be unprepared for the moment. So. Uh, music is not math unless you want it to be um, thank you thanks so much thanks Martin Strings thank you the tippers uh, I do this for you hope you dig it um, stay tuned and take good care <laughs>